All right, this is another test video, uh, final run video and setup video for a customer for a P1 for our customer Espen. Okay, Espen, you got series set up here. Okay, you're gonna have two batteries. First thing you need to do is hook up the batteries to each other. So you hook up the red and the black on the batteries to each other. That's making them 10s. Okay, it's gonna make them 10s. Make them in series. Now you get your negative and your positive. That's gonna go into the ESC. First thing that's gonna go in the ESC is the negative, black. Black okay. first. Black first. Now the EC's got a uh, pre-charge circuit. Yeah, this is to eliminate the spark when you connect it. It's a, uh, you know, it's, it's we use it on high voltage builds. So we're going to go ahead and show connect them the, the pre-charge thing. It's in there. Right there. Okay. So we're going to connect it. It's going to make noise. Do not throttle, do anything, just... The remote needs to be on. Yeah, remote's on. So now we go ahead and now that it's pre-charged, we go ahead and finalize the uh, connection. You know, always double check everything, double check your hose, blow on this with your mouth. You know, make sure there's no, you know, you got to double check things. Make sure everything's tight. Batteries need to be completely... Uh, yeah, we made wooden trays in there to hold the batteries and for the perfect balance point. But use the foam to hold them in case... You know, you don't want the batteries, if you flip it or something, or, you know, turn sharp, you don't want them coming loose and flipping around. So, and for everyone's information, this is a, this is a stage four, what is it, triple XL, Leopard or something? Double XL. 4082 millimeter by 1000 KV with the Godfather Junior ESC, which we'll be putting on the side soon. What, what is the ratings on that, Joe? Godfather Junior is 175 max. It's 175 amp ESC. Yep. The uh, Godfather. And then make sure these are down. Regular and, is uh, and and uh, stiff. Yeah, always make sure everything's you stiff. You don't usually want to mess with these. It'll make the boat run wet. We have them adjusted for you already. Need some tape. Can you use that. <laughs> This thing that wobbles. Make sure all this, make sure this is tight, make sure the screw under here is tight. Yeah, watch make sure everything's tight. Before watch you my rudder. The does I have a video, a rudder install video? Very important because if this comes loose and the boat's going fast, the boat will, it'll bend this it's and the boat will flip control. out of control. You know, I know that you, uh, you have a little bit of experience with, uh, with the, with the, who makes the BJ26? Black Jet? Uh, Pro, Pro Boats? Pro Boat. Don't, don't, uh, don't get upset, anyone. Yeah, it's Provo. That he's upgrading from a BJ26 because it is an upgrade. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Definitely an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no offense. Yeah, we don't hate Pro Boats or Aquacraft. They're just inferior quality and inferior speed to our boats. Period. It's the way it is. Sorry. Go to the bird, the, the fish nest down there. There's a catfish that has made a nice nest here and cleared the weeds for us. I'm sure in your... Uh, well, it's got a nice wide body deep V. In fact, when you drop it in, you'll see how it breaks yeah. the water. It's very smooth. It breaks... It, this drop shows it. when you hit against waves, it's very smooth against waves. See yeah, that? it didn't smack. Here, take no the camera. No smack. Just don't even zoom out and just let it be. Yeah. I'm going to go over there. Go. And then again, of course, we're going to double check, make sure water's Bring coming out. Minutes. There's the water, I see it already. And gradually get into the throttle. Don't just mash it. Yeah, until you, until you get a feel for the boat, don't mash it. And really fast. And again, these are not your uh, brand new packs, so... Okay, now you gotta be careful when you turn because I turned it a little bit too sharp and that's what happened, so. Was it, is it driving straight, is it, is it on, is it, is it jumping around, Dave? I just turned sharp and I turned it too sharp.
let off because of the rollers and I'm nervous. Yeah, don't don't drive it in the rollers, just do laps. No, no. Do do right hand circles. All the turns go to the right. Of Odyssey. course. Well, that was my fault, dug in again. Yeah, if it starts jump, if it starts getting jumpy, if it starts getting Walk jumpy and it. hopping around, throttle down, let it stabilize, and 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 check everything. Make sure your balance is right. If it jumps like that at full throttle, it's probably just this minor strut adjustment. It's running a little. Alright, I, you know, I'll drive it too much longer. You want to bring it in and take temps? Yeah. Very soft here. Be careful wherever you yeah, drive. Yeah, by the way, every lake that we use, it's got a soft sand shoreline. We never ever drive our boat where there's rocks. So every time we bring it on shore, it's because yeah, that's just dirty. The boat is perfect. Yeah, it's because it's soft. We're not stupid. Two hundred and fifty horses. AMG supercharged. AMG supercharged. Pretty hot little ride there. All right, hold on. Let me open this up. Let me take the camera and you do it. I'm gonna upload this. You know, we get a lot of requests for certain things, so we're doing it in this video. Run the boat, take the temps. That thing's a little tricky. You gotta be careful with that, okay? That's <laughs> not. It's warm, but not that warm. Hold on, let me get it on film. 116. 122. I got it. I can focus on it. 118. Plugs. Check the plugs. 97. Plugs aren't Check hot the, at all. See. Motor plugs. 113. Nothing. Oh, well, make sure you turn the on-off switch on when you drive the boat too. We didn't. It was already on. 92 on the cooler, but there's really nowhere to check on the ESC. Everything's underneath there. It's cool. You check the uh, cooling. We're getting uh, up. 95. Near nine minutes here in the video. Asked when this boat, um, one, the water for the motor comes out the right, and the water for the ESC exits on the left. Even though they, you know, the water comes in, splits. The, uh, the mountain gets cool water. 97 degrees at the Collet. Collet's not hot at all. And the temperature today, it's Florida. So whatever the temperature is today, September 22nd, 2010. If, yeah, so you it's can look really it up hot. In the, you can look it up in the almanac or, or, or you know, recorded temperature. We don't live in... Uh, it's hot out here. It's really hot. You know, we don't live where there's ice on the water. Yeah. Ever. So yeah, it's not an ice canal. Yeah. Right. We're running. Yeah, I got some haters. Let me, let's actually get water temperature. So everyone can shut up. Water temp is 82 degrees. There you go. All right, Espen, you're gonna love it. We're working on your hydro now. Later.